How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Tiggy's Adventures in Skyrim, where we make my cat in-game and we play through Skyrim. In the last episode, we just done the basic intro where we go through Riverwood and we're now here in the Whiterun, as you can see. Um, there are a few more mods on that I actually downloaded, so it looks a little bit better, but not like, you know, anything mental. Also in that last episode, I did open up the poll so that you can then vote on what we do next. Meaning that the next few videos that are going to be released are going to be going down that questline that we all voted for, which is going to be the Thieves Guild. As you can see, 32 of you did vote, so thank you very much for all of you for taking your time out of your day to do that. It helps me out quite a lot. Anyway, we better get it down to Riften. As you can see, everything looks a lot nicer. This is a... I think I've done like JK's... Uh, cities or whatever it's called so all the cities are going to look slightly different um it's also like the little compass icon that's going to help us out where it tells you how far away things are and whatnot when you look at them um so that's always quite nice um i should actually get rid of this because i'm not going to do that um i don't want to do that either so let's get them off the uh off my radar and now we need to head our way down to the stables i uh, do, do we have gold Okay, we do have, we have 68 gold, um, because otherwise that is going to be a problem. Uh, where is he? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Hello, I'd like to hire your carriage. I want to go to Riften. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Thanks. Oh, I mean, sure. This will clear up soon. I'm sure of it. Ah, well, here we are in Riften on a very cold and wet and dark day. What time is it? It's 11.30 p.m. Hmm. Let's see if we can get in. Hello? Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? This is actually a scam. Um, so let's see if we can... Do this. Call it what you want. If you don't pay, then you're not getting in. It was bad, man. <laughs> we could try and intimidate him. I think you'd be a little smarter than that. I don't even have 75 gold, by the way. I'll just go in the other what side then. then. Huh? Fine. I wonder if I can, like, come back in... Let's do, like... 10 hours. See if he let me in now. You gonna let me in? Have you decided to pay the visitor's tax? <sighs> Don't want in, huh? <laughs> right. Man, Have a good walk. how many of... Okay. How many of you knew that I wouldn't be able to get into this? Right, okay. We're going around. Oh, hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Jesus! Sure, I'll take all of it. I'll take everything you own. Well, well, did own. Can I get in this side? Okie dokie. Now, if I remember correctly, I go and talk. I can't remember his name. He's uh he's chilling. Yes. Running a little light in the pocket. Running a little light in the pocket. There we go. Your pockets. They're a little low on coin. I can tell. Uh how could you it's possibly all about sizing up your mark lot? The way they walk. What they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Beautiful baubles. Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the north gate. You knew it was a shakedown, and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? Yes. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. 
Sweet. Breaking the law? Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, There's someone right. that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Uh, I'm ready. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to. I do also have a level up ready. I should probably use that to be honest. Um, I have like the ordinator uh, perks system on as well. Should I do? I think I want to do stamina first. Uh, can I also get something in like sneak? Uh, sneaking is fifteen percent more effective. Um, sure. Down, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. <laughs> no, no, I'm not here for fishing. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Okay. So we gotta go over here and do a little bit of uh a bit of uh trickery. Mm -hmm. This way everyone. There we go, nice and easy. I'll steal literally everything because I want everything. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left. Go behind here. That's what oh. you said about the whisper. Okay, so I need to now go into here and... What was it that I needed to do? Wait, it was the ring, the ring. Uh, that one. Why you? What was that? I'm not here. What is going on? <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna need to reload this. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. We're gonna do F5 so that we quick save this time, and then that way I don't have to redo all of that again. Now we just need to uh, steal the ring again. Right. There we go. Now we're going to do F5 again. Is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Go undetected. The one and only. Mystical beings who live in Right. What's the chance of it actually working? I have an 83% chance to place. You serious? I actually failed the last one of 83. I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow Fresh if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Alright. Hello, boy Nuff. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Uh -huh. Here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Sweet. 100 gold, not bad. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Oh yes, I can handle it. Right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Uh-huh. Okie dokie, down we go. We'll just do a bit of the old yoinkage off the uh, thing. There we go. And in we go. Uh, we do also have uh, a level up. Because we died. Not died. Um, because we failed it. And we restarted. So we'll go and put that back into sneak. There we go. And one more thing that I did do from the last episode is that I increased the gamma um, that you see. So it should be a lot easier to actually view in like dark areas and whatnot. I don't know. So we'll see. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Uh, I want my longbow. Are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. You said we have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about that in people's heads. I'll worry about the okay? 
Okay, that's a problem. Alright, time for my war axe. This is actually going to be a very difficult thing to do. We also need to, we need to get the health potions. Where's the health potions? Get them as favorited. What you want. Uh, take one of them. You can win this. Ah. <laughs> Man, the combat in this game is... It's the one thing that you can tell is, like, really dated. That is definitely, like, the one thing that kind of doesn't ruin the game, but... Right, he's dead. Now I need to get this guy dealt with. Good, good, good. Right. Whew. I'll take everything that he owns because... Yes. Uh, I'm also going to take one more health potion. I'll also take everything that he owns. You should get a lot of health, uh, health? A lot of money from doing this quest line, though. You won't leave here alive! We're already leveling up again. What great, what great melee combat! There you go. Lovely bit of death. And we take everything that he owns. Okay, so I want to actually see what I have on... Did I, ex did I equip the steel armor? I didn't even equip the steel armor. I mean, we don't need merchant's boots, to be honest. Right, let's get rid of some of this stuff that we have on. We should really sell this. Get rid of some of that stuff. Uh, is that better than the one I have? Uh, sure. A uh, hunting bow? Looks better than a long bow. Okay, upgrades, see? Ah, wait, we have... There we go. This is going to be a bit dodgy, actually. Nice. Uh, let's get another upgrade. I kind of want to just dump everything into uh, stamina still. We'll get our sneak leveled up as much as we can. Let's go ahead and use our hunting bow as well. I swear, like, the clipping in this game is worse than what a tank's clipping on maps. Oh, no more secrets. Can I take the arrow? I can quite clearly see the arrow. But, okay. Oh, it's this guy. Oh my god, he's fast. Uh, this guy has that are decent gloves, doesn't he? Uh, don't need anything else. Yeah, that guy actually gets um, like boxing gloves almost. I guess you would say. What was that that just hit me? Very rude. I will catch the butterfly. Can I catch this one? Nope.
What we should do, though, is lower this so it's an easy way in and out. Nice. Uh, anything here. The beggar? No. Don't really care about that. Right, onwards. Hello, Brynjolf. I'm here. Brynjolf, however you want to be called. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Uh, getting here was easy. I almost got killed. <laughs> Don't know why I bought this place as a mess. <laughs> if you were expecting a palace, then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Well, I mean, now, you were the one that said wealth is my business. Like, about handling a few deadbeats for me. They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Okay. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Got it. No killing, but you need to get the point across. Sweet. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Uh, we should go through for any tips, to be fair. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Okay. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted. If you catch my meaning. Okay. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Okie dokie. Right. I'll be here when you're done. Yep. Okay. All right. Off we go. Let's go up to the top and we'll see what we can do. Right. Well, let's go to our first victim. I mean, uh, person of interest. Heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Uh, don't need to talk to you. You might want to talk some sense into the. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Okay. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Well. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. I shall use that. Here for a room or something to drink? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. made aware of the chaos they've How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, <laughs> take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Enough, Maramal. We've all Man. heard of the dragons and their return. Okay. I mean, I, I love it how you just quickly change your, change your tune so fast. All right, we need to... Isn't this one that I need to smash the urn or something? Ah. I mean, how am I meant to say? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to come back at night. There is no way I'm smashing that undetected. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to get me into a fight. So let's do this one first. Uh... Please, 
Don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. How do you know? You. You have my statue. What are you going to do with it? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. How do you know? I mean, okay, sure. Right. One last person to do. Actual six cents. Right, it's PM at the moment. Let's do like ten hours. See if they're asleep. Nice. Okay. Hidden. Need to just unlock this. Can't find the correct angle for it. There we go. Why are you lo- <laughs> Oh no. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Can I like- wait. Can I use these? Uh. No! You're going to break it! Just pay them, Bercy. I can't even break it. Where did that voice come? Okay. Oh no, you're the one. Oh, there's. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> Here, <laughs> take it. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's <laughs> so broken. <laughs> All right, back down we go. And there shouldn't be any issues, like, we should just be able to go straight through this. Um, because we've lowered the bridge and everything, so... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I wonder, can we put it back up? Hmm. Never actually tested that. Bring you off. I have your items, or your money. So, job's done and... Here's what they owe us. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Nice. Very nice. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Huh? That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? What is your outfit isn't We've doing well? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Sounds good. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Okie dokie. Man, it's so. I was about to say it's so cool, and then that just happened. I remember the first time that I uh, saw this? It was like, oh. I've seen a lot of thieves. This is the one I was go, talking. About. Never seen anyone Our new recruit. Me. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Hello, Mercer. Before we continue, mm. I want to make one thing perfectly clear: if you play by the rules, you walk away rich. Mm -hmm. Break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Uh-huh. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Understood. Brignol will provide you with the details. 
Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Ooh. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. I won't. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Okay. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. All right. And we are not going to do gold hey, and glue because. Talking to you yet. Come back here. Well, I am. We won't do. We won't talk to him about Golden Glow because that is where we end it for today. In the next episode, we are going to go and do Golden Glow and continue on the Thieves Guild. If you are enjoying this video and you are enjoying the series so far, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, comment down below on anything to improve upon or anything like that. It's always helpful. See you later.